That's risky. Again, that, that's a very small detail that can make a huge difference, right? So, right hip kill. So, I'm back to this leg pass finish position. This is locking the crotch. This is what coach is talking about. I'm talking about kind of coming up and popping and exploding to the ceiling with my hips. He's talking about running his hips away. See hips low and away versus hips up. Now, again, like I said, the whole goal is to not yes. be up here, right? I don't want to be up on top of his body. If my hips are on top of his hips, who's in control? His hips, right? If my hips are low and away or not on his hips or his body, then I'm, I'm in more control. So again, Right here, hips going away, kind of down and away like I'll walk my hips away and then hip heist at the end versus hips being up. And this is why we get to these positions. Like I said, this I do 50 camps around the country a year, 30, 30 of them are probably scramble camps. And that's a small detail that I haven't even explored. You know, and he's just thinking about where he would process through this position. I think hips low and away, as long as it doesn't extend me too far away from the body, right? I get this far away, now I don't have my feet in the mat, I'm not very athletic. So I think there's a, a feel that you need to get in here and just kind of play a little bit with breaking this lock. Maybe it's low and away, now it's broke and I'm in good shape. Okay, now I can get my half in. So again, small little details that we need to clean up, all right, but it can make a world of difference at the highest level. So when you start getting back to that position, if they lock in the crotch, just think about it. It might be a little bit up and a little bit away. All right, we, we definitely don't want to be on top of them and we definitely don't want to be 10 feet, 10 feet away from them, right? Okay, so now let's talk about the actual leg pass itself. So we're going to start on our knees, kind of like in this little training wheel position. Now in order to pass his leg, I've got to get my outside arm under and i got to snake my hand to his hamstring. Okay, he's in on my hips, he's going to be in pretty good position. I've got to take the angle away. So I'm going to windshield wiper my heels. Outside hand is going to snake under his knee down leg. And I'm going to go to my outside hip and outside shoulder. So I'm going to windshield wiper my ankles. Outside hand snakes under the leg. And I go to his hamstring. Now, my heels curl to my butt. All right? My feet are in the mat. My top hand is going to attack his sole. All right, in this position, I got two hands on one leg and I'm gonna punch my bottom hand across my body, but my feet are gonna drive the entire time. Here, drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive into this position. And then again, I'm just reading this guy's reaction. Pop the hips, I can turn towards the head, turn towards the legs and wrestle. All right, and we just wrestle through those positions. But again, he's in on a double leg. He's just giving me a decent feel. Windshield wiper. Outside hand, snakes under, hand goes to the hamstring. This is my switch hand. This is not the hand we're using. Outside hand, snakes under, I'm outside hip, outside shoulder. See how I'm wrapping to the hamstring. Heels coming to my butt, super important. Driving on my feet, attacking the sole. Now a lot of times he'll sit back on this ankle. Sit back on your ankles. He'll sit back on his ankle to try to prevent the leg pass. I've got a windshield wiper his foot outside his hip so his leg will straighten out. Notice I'm driving on my feet, punching across my body. Feet are driving, feet are driving, feet are driving. I can't stress your feet driving on a leg pass too much. A lot of guys try to pass a leg with just their hands or their arm and they get stuck on their back. You have to drive with your feet, okay? You have to drive with your feet. So, double leg, and again, he's just kind of hanging on. Now, watch what he's doing. He has to let go and walk on his hands when I pass his leg. If he hangs onto this double leg when I pass a leg, not the best option for him. So if I windshield wiper, get to this leg pass, get it straight, we always want to pass straight legs. We don't want to pass bent legs. Usually when his legs are bent, he's sitting back and his hips engaged, he's got a lot of strength right here. Okay, so I've got to make sure I windshield wiper his leg out, keep it straight. Now watch what he does. If he hangs on to the double leg, when I pass the leg, not a great idea. Okay, when he lets go, 
and walks on his hands, he gives himself an option to continue to scramble. All right, and that's what we want. We want to continue to scramble if we're the double leg guy. Windshield wiper. Arm under, top hand to the sole, windshield wiper the leg out straight, feet in the mat driving. Feet in the mat drive. See how he lets go and walks on his hands? I want, I want you to focus on keeping your chest over your partner's legs when they pass the leg. Just let go and walk on your hands. Keep your chest over their legs. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? One more again, all right? And nothing's different. We'll go up to our feet in a minute. I want everybody on their knees now, but we'll go up to our feet in a minute, and it's the same thing. Step, swing, snake, pass, run my feet, perpendicular, read the hands. Right here. Right back to the same position we've been getting in all morning. Go! Let's get it. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah. You got balls, man. You got balls. Oh, man. I don't know if I have any. Don't hold on. Don't hold on. Don't hold on. Don't see, as he starts to turn, you float. If you call it floating, just float, walk on your hands. You know with him, you just blaming him? So anytime that leg's bent, I got to get the heel. So just get in referee's position where you butt back on your heels. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, your butt has to go up. I'm not trying to tear your knee out, but that's just your body mechanics, right? When I take your foot up, you got to start making a decision. Just stay back there and your knee gets tore up or raise your butt up. Raise your butt up, right? When the leg goes straight. When the leg goes straight, look how light it is now. That's all we're doing. What do you do with your feet? How are you doing with your feet? I'm just driving. Just digging with my feet. I'm telling you, this. if I could only give every wrestler one single skill, it would be to constantly have their feet in the mat. That's the most important wrestling skill there is, in my, in my opinion. Because you think about every wrestling move you ever do in your life, whether it's a Granby, stand up, a double leg, running a crab driving with your legs. All of that requires you generating power with your feet connected with the mat. If your feet are off the mat, you're not doing anything, right? Are you senior this year? Not a lot. What are you looking at school afterward? 